I was, I was crossing the course up here so where they go and someone says, do you know the name of the guy with the beard? I was like, the red beard? She's like, yeah. She's like, that's my favorite guy. It's like the the only real beard in the field, right? It's like real, yeah. yeah. Timmerman used to have a decent beard, but it wasn't red. Right, right. Um, it, was, uh, it was good. You know, this place is always tough. It's got uh, a ton of long climbs, which I was a little worried coming in, but, uh, you know, my form is coming around. My you know weight race weights coming around and I ended up battling for the 15th spot which is definitely my best C1 this year actually it may be my about you know my best result this year in a you know strong field um, you know just building on Providence and Gloucester Gloucester was 20s Providence were broken into the teens and you know day it's like 15 16 something like that I think so um, you know the every time I start to hurt and I want to back off it's it's all the crowd, you know, the fans screaming for the beard. Uh, you know, it keeps me in it, it keeps me motivated. So it's uh, it's you guys that do it. I uh, I appreciate it. Would you ever consider shaving that thing, like for charity? Uh, maybe, you know, especially maybe if it was toward the end of the season. Um, you know, it depends on the charity and depends on what happens. But you know, we're always uh, I'm always happy to do things for a good cause. And, and just with my genetics, it'll be back in like two weeks, so it wouldn't be that big a deal. But I, I pick, I say it's kind of like uh, Samson. Every time I trim it a little bit, I drop 10 spots and then it like comes back and uh, and the power comes back. So I don't know, maybe it's mental. You know how cyclists are. Thanks, man. Thanks, Tom.